Hey, this is Bremster, and this is number 87 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a sandwich problem by Frappy, and I really love this one. I know I say that a lot, but this one I really, really do like. Um, so the goal in this puzzle, of course, is to place the digit in the cell marked with an X. Um, and of course, the important thing with these is to always understand why the digit you are placing is true. Um, even if you can look at it and go, I think I know what this is. Do you, can you actually prove it? Um, uh, this is always an interesting thing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I've had a few people say, oh, I can do this in two seconds. It's like, yeah, can you prove it that quickly? Um, anyway, so... Um, with this one, of course, this is a sandwich problem. So the way this one works is the um, the uh, clues outside the grid indicate the sum of the digits to be placed between the one and the nine in that row or column. Um, so that's how sandwich clues work. Um, there is a link below to the grid where you can try this one for yourself. Um, and then, um, uh, yeah, I will wait for a few seconds and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, this one actually looks really simple. And I had a couple of testers say, oh, it's obvious. And then when I asked them to prove it, it was like, uh, actually, I'm not 100% sure. It is a little bit more tricky than it looks, even though you can guess the answer pretty quickly. So um, the important thing about sandwich clues is to, um, first thing you need to understand, of course, is if you, an entire row column or row or column of a Sudoku contains the digits one to nine, the sum of those is 45. However, the one and the nine are going to be used in the general term is the crusts of the sandwich. So you do not use those in the digits that are going to make up the, the total for the sandwich. And those sum to 10. So 45 minus 10 is 35. So you're working with numbers that sum up to 35 for the meats of the sandwich or the, the English ingredients of the sandwich. So we can use that in row two because um, we can immediately see that if the crusts need to be the, the end, because if you add up the digits two to eight, you get 35. So we need to use all of the ingredient, uh, all of the ingredients, yeah, two to eight in the middle of the sandwich. So this becomes a one nine pair. And then we can use this two clue because the only way to put two into a sandwich clue is with a two on its own, because you, there's no other way of making up a two sum in um, the Sudoku numbers. So this becomes a two and this becomes a one nine. Then we have this 33 clue and the clues are feeding into each other. So the only way to make up 33 is to use, well, you can think about it by removing digits. We're not using one and nine at all. We need 35. How do you get to 33 from 35? You remove the two. You can't remove a, one, a three that takes you too low. So the only way to do it is to remove the two. But we've already got one of the crusts here. So the only place you could remove the two is here and make this another crust, which is getting us into the column where we need to determine. But there's two ways of making up six. You can do it with two, four, or you can do it with six. So the question is, which way is it? Now, it is very clear that you can't go 2, 4 down here because there's already a 2 in the box. But the question is, why can't you do 2, 4 up? Um, and the trick, and that one's actually a little bit more tricky to see. So, and the reason is, if we were to consider this to be either 1 or 9, it's going to be one of them. Um, and if we call this yellow, we're going to use a coloring trick here. If we call this yellow, we don't know whether it's 1 or 9, but we know it's one of them. This one has to be the other one. So let's call that blue. So um, all we know is yellow and blue are different numbers. Now, this one can't be blue because it's a different number. So this one has to be yellow. And then this one here can't be yellow, so it has to be blue. So these two must be different numbers. And all three of these cells see now both the one and the nine. It doesn't matter if this is nine, this is one. If this is one, this is nine. And these three cells see all of them. So we can't go up with the clue. Because if we go up with the clue, one, um, you know, one of these cells here would have to be a one or a nine, and it can't be because it sees both. So we must go down. And because we must go down, it either has to be a six on its own or a two, four, and it can't be a two, four because there's already a two in the box. So that there has to be the six, which is the solution to the problem. And I know because of the six in the column, some people are going to say, oh, it's a six, bang. But the question is, can you prove it? And... A couple of people that I ran this one past was like, oh, yeah, I'm pretty certain it's a six. 
The whole point is understanding why. Um, that's the point of this series. And if you just go, oh, it's a six, obviously, and move on, great. That, that's fine. But um, the point of this series for me is to actually sort of show the logic as to why. And there may be another way to do it, but this is the way um, that was uh, presented by Frappy. And yeah, very, very cool logic. I really do like this one. Um, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the solution to this one. I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.